Dr. Kevin Cordy. Uh, we had a great opportunity a few years ago through the National Writing Project, Columbus Area Writing Project, to meet this man. But he has a doctorate in storytelling. And one of the biggest issues we've always found as teachers of writing is we <coughs> teach them revision strategies. But as Mr. Martin uh, talked about as well, you know, sometimes they're bleh and don't want to do it, all right, whatever it is, at the end. This is side coaching. You're probably doing it and didn't call it this, but it's one of the coolest things that I've been uh, blessed to understand as a teacher of writing because they revise before they even begin writing. Oh, and they revise throughout the writing instead of at the end when a kid's already locked in. Uh, and what happens is, you know, he has taught us that, that the first writing was oral communication, uh, obviously. So kids sometimes when they write, they're, they're hesitant to want to change. Or that's me telling them as the teacher the authority that they have to change. Hey, Mr. Lynch and I would be two students and we are, we are beginning the stories that our people have become. Uh, these Holocaust victims, these kids have to take on one of these. Well, they start telling the story. And at any moment, Mr. Lynch might say, stop, all right? And at first, the kids are taken aback by it, but they get very comfortable with it. And he would give me specific and immediate feedback from the students. And we've obviously modeled this teacher to student, so. But he would tell me to stop and say, man, I really need more imagery right here, all right? And what you're telling me, they haven't written a word yet, all right? Nothing's locked in paper. But I need more imagery. What, what do you mean? Well, I want to hear this. So the kids, both of them, are, or if I'm telling the story, I'm holding a driver's mark. He wants more imagery. I write that down. Okay, and then I keep telling my story. And then he says, stop again, and I need to hear this. You know, I want more subjectivity. I mean, you're not giving me the thoughts and feelings. You know, you just told me that this young person had to go take a shower, whatever that was, and you just did it matter-of-factly. So then the person lists the subjectivity. So, and then they go and write. And as they're writing, they come back and then tell the story again, and they stop again. Uh, side coaching is revising before and after and not waiting until the end when we give them a series of things to do and the child says, you know what, I'm done, all right, it's time to move forward. Well, they haven't even began yet. So we, ought, we raise the bar of what we're looking for before we ever begin. And we do a lot of that through story in the classroom, telling a story.